Like a lot of the other paranormal groups out there, Modern Age Paranormal has experimented heavily with thermal imaging cameras, like the one that you see here. Over the course of using these cameras on actual investigations, though, we've noticed a few problems. First of all, most of the thermal imaging cameras on the market aren't designed to record video. This is kind of a problem if you want to record events in real time as they happen. Another problem that we found with most of the thermal imaging cameras on the market is that the images they produce are really bright colored and almost psychedelic, like the ones you see here. And the reason why this is a problem is because it makes it easy to miss subtle variations that you otherwise would have caught. We've also found that these types of cameras have really bright screens, and sometimes the screens are so bright that they can be blinding when you're investigating in the dark. As a way of getting around some of these problems, Modern Age Paranormal has created our own thermal imaging camera, and we want to take this opportunity to give you a demo of it. What you're looking at right now is my front yard after a recent snow. As you can see, most of the snow has melted, but there are still a few patches here and there. Now let me switch over to the thermal imaging camera and show you what this looks like. As you can see, the output from our thermal imaging camera is in black and white, so the picture looks more like what you would get from a true video camera as opposed to a computer-rendered psychedelic image. The colder areas appear black, and the warmer areas appear white. So the splotches of white that you see in the yard isn't the snow, that's actually the areas where the sun has warmed the ground up. The patches of snow are actually displayed in black. To give you a better idea of what I'm talking about, take a look at this video of my truck. You'll notice that there's some snow piled up on the windshield. For the most part, the truck looks pretty normal, but you'll notice a splotch of black on the windshield where the snow is. Here you can see a car parked inside of a garage. Now right now everything looks pretty normal, but let's switch over to the thermal view and you'll get a different picture. As you can see now, the front part of the car is a lot warmer than the rest of it, and the reason for this is that the car was recently driven so the engine's warm and the heat from the engine is bleeding out through some of the seams. But you'll also notice if you look at the front tires that the brakes are warm as well. This is something that we never would have seen without a thermal imaging camera. As you've seen, thermal imaging cameras record heat, not light. And one of the interesting things about this is that sometimes objects leave heat behind. To show you what I'm talking about, watch this. I'm going to take my hand and place it on a table for a few seconds, and then take it away. Now, watch what this looks like with the thermal imaging camera. I'm going to put my hand down, and when I pull it away, you can see the residual image of where my hand was because of the heat that I left behind on the cold countertop. Another interesting thing about thermal imaging cameras is that if the conditions are right, they can actually see through walls. Here you can see a dining area, and to the naked eye, you don't see anything special. But watch what happens when I switch over to thermal imaging. Now, all of a sudden, you can see through the walls, and you can see all of the studs in the ceiling. Normally, there's nothing too exciting about turning on a kitchen sink, but watch what happens when I film it with the thermal imaging camera. The water appears to be black because it's cold. Now I switch over to hot water and you'll see the water go from black to white because of the hot water coming out of the faucet. After a few seconds I switch back to cold water and you'll see the water turn black again. We hope that you've enjoyed this demo of our thermal imaging camera. If you are located in North Carolina, South Carolina, or Georgia and are looking for a paranormal team to investigate a potential haunting, please contact us at www.modernageparanormal.com.